for great firms to grow, they need to evolve. Well, I'm joined today by Jack Davis of Navigation Retirement Group to talk about his firm's evolution. Jack, welcome. Thanks, thanks for having me, Matt, I appreciate that. So Jack, tell me a little bit about your firm here in Arizona. Uh, yeah, Navigation Retirement Group, we were founded in uh, 2003 mm -hmm. and really founded out of a, of a need to serve that 55 to 75 year old uh, market segment. Uh, I felt they were being underserved. When I started my firm, I really started it to give world-class service to folks that had, say, 150, 250, 350 thousand dollars in asset center management. Really make them feel special, like they had north of a million at, at, at a large wirehouse. Mm -hmm. That was the idea behind it. Now you started at MetLife. Your your evolution kind of starts there. At the beginning, a lot of those clients come with you from there to your practice. You know, um, a, a handful, a okay. handful. You know, when I yeah. when I broke out on my own, when I founded Navigation yes. Retirement Group, which was a, an independent firm. Right. I think at the end of the first year, I had $10 million in asset center management, so I, I, I didn't start with a lot. Now, the big change for a lot of advisors is taking it from a lifestyle practice to a business. Talk to me about you know, that, that step for you. Yeah, that's a great question because uh, about three years ago, I made that conscious decision to do that. I, I built the practice to over $100 million. Um, I made a good living and got to the point where I didn't have to work a lot of hours each week and uh, I got bored. Realized that I wasn't growing, realized that I needed a little bit more to be fulfilled in life, mm -hmm. and made the conscious decision to transition from a lifestyle practice into a going concern. Now, when you make that transition, when you make that move to change what you're doing, um, what, 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 was the, what was the motivation there? What, what made you say, okay, I need to reorganize? What were the things you had to do? You know, I'd say the most important things I had to do was make sure uh, that not only did I have the right people on the team, but, but as the old saying goes, they were in the right uh, spaces on the bus, mm -hmm. if you will. So the first thing out of the box is I hired a very good consultant to help me uh, really define roles, uh, define pay, uh, create a path to equity for my key stakeholders, mm -hmm. um, and uh, really put in accountability factors into those defined roles so that I could just uh, concentrate on growing the firm while my stakeholders concentrated on uh, taking good care of our clients and, and servicing our clients and things of that nature. It's a hard transition sometimes to go from advisor to CEO and business owner. Talk to me about some of the growing pains. I think a lot of people wouldn't believe this, but it's probably the hardest thing I ever did in my life. It was easier growing this from $10 million to $120 million than it was to transition from a lifestyle practice to a going concern. I had close friendships with the people who worked for me, uh, but almost too comfortable to okay. where you know what, we weren't working hard enough together because the money was good and, and we didn't have to, we didn't have to find goals and we, we didn't have to strive and, and that, was a, that was a hindrance. Mm -hmm. So, you know, having to say goodbye to some people, it was yeah. very, very hard. Um, finding new high achievers is very, very hard. Um, I, I do have an office full of high achievers now and that really makes me step up my game. Yeah. You know, it's what I wanted, mm -hmm. uh, so be careful what you wish for. Um, <laughs> But it's a thrill. Where, where are you at now in terms of assets? Is it 120 million, or are you going beyond? A little bit north of that. Okay. Um, we redefined our marketing strategy last year. I just finished writing a book, okay. and uh, put together some workshops with that book. Um, I uh, contracted with the local university to run adult education workshops okay. from from that that book that I wrote. So. Um, just getting ready to turn on the rainmaking machine again, and I'm really looking forward to that. So it's all about rainmaking, prospecting, finding new clients at this point. That's what's next. That's what's next. Nice. That's nice. what's next. Well, it's exciting. It sounds like you have a lot of great marketing plans and a really interesting story about reorganization and, and revitalization, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Jack, thanks so much for being here. Some great insights for advisors. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. For Investment News, I'm Matt Ackerman. <laughs>